Hello and welcome back to EFD where today we are looking at 10 players who could make great managers. Let's go. 10. Patrice Evra Patrice Evra may be a regular face on the punditry circuit thanks to his laid back and comical personality, but beneath this is a mind that many think is perfect for management. The left back had an unbelievably successful playing career. A Champions League finalist with Monaco, he claimed five Premier League titles and even tasted European glory during a nine-year spell under Sir Alex Ferguson at Man United. He would even play another UCL final with Juventus, where he enjoyed even more success. All those years spent winning in different leagues and under some of football's greatest managers, including Didier Deschamps and Max Allegri, will inevitably have rubbed off on the Frenchman. And it was Ferguson who first noted Evra's management potential. Confident in speaking multiple languages, the Senegalese-born star often took it upon himself to make sure all his teammates bonded, being known to his manager as the glue in the dressing room. He even attempted Korean, forming a close friendship with Yi Sung Park. With football being such an international game, having someone capable of connecting with players from all backgrounds is imperative. And the former France and United captain is more than qualified in that regard. 9. Leonardo Bonucci Giorgio Chiellini might appear the obvious Juventus player with managerial potential, but he is actually pipped to this list by his long-term centre-back partner, Leonardo Bonucci. Like Chiellini, the Italian is widely considered one of the best defenders in the world, with Pep Guardiola even describing him as one of his favourite players ever. His trademark is his ability to start an attack with an accurate long ball, completing an incredible 8.1 per 90 between 2016 and 2018, in Serie A. This vision and reading of the game is matched by his exceptional leadership skills, having worn the armband for all this season in Chiellini's absence. The 32-year-old also appears unfazed by pressure or criticism. He turned his career around after being deemed surplus to requirements by Inter Milan back in 2008, while prior to 2014 his regular errors and lapses of concentration were dubbed Borucciate by the Italian press. Then when he returned to Juventus in 2018 following a controversial and failed 42 million euro move to AC Milan the year before, he refused to let a hostile reception by the club's ultras affect him, ultimately winning them back. With seven Scudetti and 547 appearances to his name, few can boast the depth of experience and success he has to offer. While Chiellini's future appears set in a directorial or financial role, Bonucci looks ready-made for the touchline. Before we move on to our next managerial candidate, just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another EFD video. We could really do with all the support you can give right now. Anyway, let's move on. 8. Kevin De Bruyne Kevin De Bruyne may not immediately strike you as someone with the personality for management. Hardly an extrovert, the Belgian comes across as a reserved and articulate figure. But when he lets his feet do the talking, there are few who speak louder on the pitch. Arguably the best midfielder in the world today, the Manchester City star is unmatched when it comes to vision and picking a pass. It's no surprise his ascension to the top of the footballing pyramid has coincided with Pep Guardiola's arrival in Manchester. In the four years they have worked together, De Bruyne has scored 25 league goals and managed 52 league assists, while this season he has offered a career-high 7.1 shots and key passes per 90. And importantly for City, with Vincent Kompany leaving for his own taste of management, De Bruyne's leadership, knowledge and quality has never been so vital. And there are signs he is preparing to follow in Kompany's footsteps. Along with Romelu Lukaku, the 28-year-old has used the pandemic-induced break in the season to start gaining his coaching licence. Guardiola has shown that you don't have to be loud and proud to be a charismatic manager, with intelligence like De Bruyne's equally important. And like his manager, it appears the Belgian is a perfectionist. 7. Sergio Busquets Over the last decade, Barcelona has experienced an extraordinary amount of success, thanks to the coaching of Pep Guardiola and Luis Enrique, and the influential core of the side including Xavi, Messi and Iniesta. It is only appropriate that scholars of Guardiola and Enrique have headed into management, with Xavi widely tipped to be the future boss of Barca once he is finished in Qatar. Someone who could also be in the running for the Blaugrana top job one day is Sergio Busquets. An equally important figure in Barca's most dominant era, the Spaniard is often labelled the best holding midfielder of his generation. And with eight La Liga titles, three Champions Leagues, a World Cup and European Championship to his name, 
few can deny him that honour. Guardiola was clearly a fan of the idea, stating sooner or later he will become a manager and we will see Busquets on the bench. Coming from a man who clearly knows what he is talking about, it is a glowing endorsement. Busquets has regularly been compared to Guardiola as a player, so we'll be hoping the resemblance remains when he heads into management, whenever that may be. 6. Johnny Evans In 2017, Northern Ireland's boss Michael O'Neill singled out Johnny Evans as a perfect candidate for management. A self-professed lover of tactics and intricate training sessions, that said to half possesses all the intelligence and humanistic qualities necessary to lead from the touchline. Under Sir Alex Ferguson at Man United, he gained a masterclass in man management, while over the last year he has learned under Brendan Rodgers, with his countrymen famed for his meticulous match preparation. With 10 domestic trophies and even a Club World Cup to his name, he is the second most decorated Northern Irish player in history after Neil Lennon who is a successful manager in his own right. Ferguson described United's decision to sell Evans to West Brom as shocking, and it's clear to see why. Now at Leicester, the 32-year-old is on the verge of a return to the Champions League after playing over 2,500 minutes of league football, the most of any Foxes outfield player and he has shown significant leadership at the back. So while he may not be ready to hang up the boots just yet, a future on the touchline appears a logical step. 5. Axel Witzel It may have taken a while, but the quality of Axel Witzel is finally being appreciated. Despite former Belgian boss Mark Vilmot claiming Witzel was the first name on his team sheet, questionable moves to Zenit St. Petersburg and the Chinese Super League during his peak playing years, meant he was never considered an elite midfielder. However, his €20 million Euro switch to Borussia Dortmund in 2018 looks to have changed that. In just under two seasons, the Belgian has become one of the ringleaders at Die Borussen. In the 2018-19 campaign, only Bayern's Niklas Sula betted his 94.4% pass accuracy in the whole division, while his presence in the number 6 role has added balance to Dortmund's attack-heavy approach. The current Belgian boss, Roberto Martinez, hailed his transfer as the best anywhere in the world that season, while elder statesmen at Dortmund like Marco Reus have been quick to praise the 31-year-old's influence over their young side. Like De Bruyne, Witzel has used the force break in the current season to start gaining his coaching licence, putting in motion a future career many of his teammates would fully endorse. 4. John Terry OK, so he may no longer be a player, but it seems just a matter of time before John Terry takes the final step into becoming a head coach. He has watched Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard, two other defining English players of his era, take the leap with relative success. And now, after two years as Dean Smith's assistant to Aston Villa, Terry may feel it is his turn. The Chelsea legend's leadership qualities are unparalleled. He captained the Blues for 13 successful years and led his country for two separate periods between 2006 and 2012. Even in his final season at Stamford Bridge in 2016-17, when Antonio Conte demoted him to the bench, Terry's influence off the field was credited as a key driver behind their Premier League title. Jose Mourinho, Rafa Benitez and Lampard have all spoken about his management potential, while his influence over young stars like Jack Grealish at Aston Villa is plain to see. The club captain has emerged as one of the most desirable players in English football under the calming guidance of Terry. The 39-year-old has been slowly building his experience as an assistant, even knocking back interest from Middlesbrough at the start of the season. But provided the right offer comes along, his days as a number two look numbered. 3. Daniel De Rossi Daniel De Rossi's playing career may not have ended in the style he wanted, but his involvement in the game is by no means over. The Roma legend spent 18 years with the Giela Rossi, but got everyone talking when he signed for iconic Argentinian giants Boca Juniors in July 2019. He may have been 35 at the time, but with 117 caps for Italy, it was still big news for the club from Buenos Aires. However, homesickness would get the better of him and De Rossi announced his retirement after just seven appearances for the Genoese. The silver lining is that the midfielder can now focus on his ambitions to become a coach. Roma had originally offered him the chance to stay at the club in a directorial capacity, but he wasn't interested, seeing himself better suited to the touchline. And there is no reason to suggest he wouldn't make a great manager. Cut from the same cloth as Atletico Madrid general Diego Simeone, De Rossi is a leader of men whose intimidation intimidating and dedicated persona made him a destructive defensive midfielder. That, combined with his indisputable tactical knowledge and experience, means there could be an Italian El Cholo down the line. 2. James Milner 
When in December 2019, Liverpool tied down James Milner to a contract extension until the summer of 2022, they knew they were keeping hold of much more than just a quality midfielder. On and off the pitch, Milner has been the model professional throughout his 18-year career. He is never one to grab media attention, as shown by the comical boring James Milner parody Twitter account, and has consistently been available and competed at the highest level. Before the current campaign, he once again ranked first in the Liverpool squad for pre-season fitness, despite being 33 years old. In second place was Joe Gomez, 11 years his junior. And his dedicated professionalism doesn't end there. While the majority of the Liverpool squad went on their mid-season break, Milner stayed behind to train with the under-23s ahead of their Crunch FA Cup replay with Shrewsbury Town. Under-23s manager Neil Critchley hailed the former England international's influence over his side, crediting part of their win to Milner. And always the man for a big occasion, Jurgen Klopp regularly turns to his seasoned pro at pivotal moments in important games. Milner has remained coy about entering management in interviews, but he would clearly be more than up to the task should he decide to pursue the route. 1. Ricardo Carvalho Portugal has been a regular producer of top quality managers, and the next to emerge from the Iberian Peninsula could well be Ricardo Carvalho. A favourite of Jose Mourinho, the centre-half followed his countrymen from FC Porto to Chelsea and later to Real Madrid. In total, he played 610 games as a professional at club level, with a further 89 international caps, winning seven league titles in a star-studded career. His value and influence was so great that he was still representing his country at 38 years of age, winning the European Championships in 2016 while being the oldest player in the competition. Unsurprisingly, years of tutelage under Mourinho and experience from playing all over Europe has pushed him towards becoming a manager. In June 2018, he started taking his coaching badges in Belfast with a class featuring Stephen Pienaar and Jolien Lescott, and from that group he is currently excelling the most. Furthermore, when André Villas-Boas returned to management with Marseille in 2019, he hired Carvalho as his assistant. And the Portuguese duo have had quite the impact at the former European champions. At the time of writing, the Olympians sit second in League Earn, well on their way to Champions League football and their best league finish since 2010-11. They may be baby steps, but the 41-year-old's venture into the world of coaching is already proving successful. So those were our 10 players who are cut out for management, but what did you make of the list? Do you agree with any of them? Disagree with any of them? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, why not click on screen right now and check out our other strands like Stat Wars and Scout Report. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to EFD, and we'll see you next time.